This is going to be a video review of the Flexicold, what do we call this, the Flexicold uh, Ice Pack, I guess it is. Ice Pack Therapy New, made by Natricold, I think that's what it is. So I bought the one that is the standard size, 10.5 by 14.5. Originally I was going to buy the neck contour, which I think would really help me a lot because of the, uh, the pain I've got in the neck and the shoulders. And this thing just wraps around, it covers the neck and the upper shoulders. But I thought, you know, with something like this, I could use this on my back, my shoulders, my neck, my wrists, my knee. But you could even do that because this has probably got Velcro on there and so it would be something you could wrap around. This is the half size 7.5 by 11.5 and, and the oversized 13 by 21.5. That's huge. That would be perfect for your shoulders and your back, upper back, lower back. Problem is, I have a feeling that if I put this in the freezer and took it out and put this on my back, I would be so cold because this is really covering a big part of your body. So I bought this uh, standard size. I'm going to take it out of the package now. We'll look at it and then I'll pop it in the freezer and use it a little bit later tonight and give you my opinion. Okay, I got rid of that light glare. Sorry about that. This is the front of the box. Accelerate your healing. Most flexible gel cold pack out there. Uh, bruises, inflammation, swelling, injuries, chronic pain, muscle pain. There's another company online that also has one of these, uh, I think it's Chattanooga. And I was going to buy that and do a review, but I didn't. Oh, wow. This is some, <laughs> this is pretty beefy. Instructions. All right, no, nobody reads instructions. Um, wow. Wow. Hold on a minute. Yeah, this is a scale. I just did a review on the scale if you want to check out my uh, channel. The reason I took this out is, let's tar that out to zero it out. This thing is so heavy, which is a good thing. I wanted to see how heavy is this. This is almost three pounds. Two, point, two pounds, eight and a half ounces. Two and a half pounds. This thing, they're not messing around here. Um, all right, let's turn this off and get this out of the way. So, uh, and that's not even frozen. This is, I was wondering why the box was so heavy. So, let me open this up now. And don't, uh, cut the package when you're, uh, taking it out. All right, so let's zoom out a little bit. Can we zoom out? See what I bought here? Pretty curious. The reason I bought this is because I'm having, I have, I've always had pain with my, uh, in my shoulder and my neck. And I'm doing some uh, rolling now with the foam roller, and it's making a big difference. But wow, look at this thing. I, I, I'm already, I can already tell you, this thing is nice. It is, I'll well, see what it's like when it's uh, out of the freezer. This is definitely beefy. It is wide enough, okay, not that I've got big hands, but let's go one hand length, it's a little less than two hand lengths, one, two, so it's two hand lengths that way and about one and a quarter this way. So this is going to be absolutely perfect to put over the shoulder. This, uh, it will definitely go over the shoulder. If you're going to want to put this on the neck, you'll be able to put it on the neck. The neck uh, model might be a little bit easier to get it to contour around your neck and your shoulders. Lower back, this would be perfect wrapping this around your knee or your shin or your arm or wrist. This is perfect. I think if you went for the full size, it would be too big unless you're going to go f use that for your back. The half size, um, the half size is really tiny. Uh, I'm glad I didn't get the half size. So, and then we've got the neck as I said. Alright, let's get this thing in the freezer now. Uh, they're talking about double stitching. This is this is good quality stuff. I can't talk about longevity because I just got it. And I've got some things that, uh, I've got some ice packs that were handed down to me that are probably 20, 30 years old. But those are the old style. These things you probably have to replace them every couple years to avoid leaking. Definitely don't want leakage. So let's get this thing in the freezer now. It does feel good. It, it's latex free, reusable. Ooch? I don't know what ooch means. And there's the freezer with an ice pack and an ice pack and an ice pack and up on the top we have ice pack, ice pack, ice pack and an ice pack and 
nothing else. So, because they're going to be fumigating my place in a couple days, so I took everything out of here. Um, I'm going to pop this on the shelf now. So it should be able to get cold all the way around top and bottom. Let's zoom in. We definitely want to see the name Flexicold. Hey, that's pretty clever. Cold, get it? K, like cold with a K. Flexicold. All right, so what is it, 4.30 now? I'm probably going to keep this thing in there for about three or four hours, and I'll take it out later tonight, and we'll test it out and see how it is. And I'm back. It's been about three and a half hours. They say you only need about two hours to get this thing cold. Ow, woo! Okay, so it's been in the freezer for about three and a half hours, and this isn't really going to be accurate, but let's get this thing out here and turn this on. My freezer is about zero degrees, so I want to see what this is going to give me without puncturing it. It's definitely flexible. I'm just going to keep this on here for about a minute. I don't want the video to go too long. Um, but I do want to get an idea of what the temperature is going to be like. It would be a lot better if I wrap this around here. Okay, so let's just check the temperature out. Make sure that when you use a pack like this, even though it's it's a nice pack, um, I have a feeling that it's probably going to sweat a little bit when it's used. It just seems like it will, but no matter if it sweats or not, you always want to use something between you and the pack, like a towel to avoid frost burn on the skin. Really important. You do not want to burn your skin and cause yourself serious problems. So we're right now at about 13, 12, 12 degrees, 11 degrees. This is cold. I guess it's no cold than if you were using ice cubes, but uh, okay, so let's just, uh, it's dropping down. It's, it's going to head on down probably somewhere about 9 degrees. It might go to, to zero. So it definitely gets cold depending on obviously the temperature of your freezer. Um, Okay, I had it folded over, so there it is. It's already starting to sweat. So people that are worried about a pack that's going to sweat, the only way to avoid that is to buy a pack that goes into a sleeve. And what's the point of that? Just buy something like this and put it inside a towel. Now, I'm not going to show me laying down on a sofa with an ice pack on my shoulders. That's ridiculous. But I am going to come back in a little while and give you my honest opinion of how I feel about this. When they say flexible, this thing is flexible, and it's really nice. There's no doubt about it. I love this size. Like I said, I think I got the uh, the 10 by 14 or something like that. Not the full large, but not the half size either. So I'll be back in a few. Hey, everybody, I'm back. I'm going to give you my honest opinion, because that's what I do in my videos. I used this for about 26 minutes. What I did is I was lying down on the sofa with my head towards that side. There's a chair over there. And what I did is I put this on, I lifted up my shirt and I put this on my lower back from the waist up as high as it would go. And this thing is freezing absolutely well. My freezer is zero degrees. This thing was absolutely freezing. And I've read a lot of comments where people say, let's put this over here so we can see the name. I've read a lot of comments where people say they want it ice cold and these packs are not cold. Again, like I was telling you, you need to be really careful because you can damage your skin by going very cold. I could not handle this. Oh, first off, it's not sweating. It's definitely not sweating at all. Um, I couldn't handle this bare skin. I just couldn't. It was too cold for me. So I took this towel and I put it over it. Stayed there for a while and it felt really good. Then what I did is I lowered my jeans down to about my knees and I put this going from my waist so this would cover my waist lower spine and it would cover the uh, the sciatic area and the piriformis of the hip and I kept it there for a while um, that was probably like 20 minutes ago okay I just put my hand on my butt and it's still freezing and I'll get to that in a minute then what I did is I put this 
on, I would, it, it was, if you keep these out of the freezer for a while, they're obviously not going to hold as much uh, cold. So if you think this is going to stay cold for an hour, no, there's no way. Well, it might, it's hard to say. It's not going to be the same temperature as it was when it came out of the freezer. But I put this on my left quad, and I was able to handle the cold at that point because your body heat is going to warm this up a little bit, so it wasn't as freezing cold, but I was able to handle it on this quad at that point without needing to use the towel, and that felt absolutely incredible. And that is when I, well, I'll get to that in a minute. Then I propped this thing over the armrest of the chair and the sofa, and I put this on my shoulders and the lower neck. So let's talk about this for a while. This, again, if you're looking for something that is ice freezing cold, it, that's probably a mistake. Uh, as I was using this, I was telling myself, this is pro well, I've read some comments that a lot of people say their physical therapist uses this. I can see why. What I noticed when I used this is, and I needed to use the towel most of the time, is that when you put this on, it's kind of like a heating pad. You know, you, if you have a heating pad that's 150 degrees, it's going to burn your skin and it's not going to accomplish anything inside the muscles. But if you have a heating pad that's 110 degrees, it's slowly going to warm the muscles and it's going to do the repair that it needs to. Well, that's what I was feeling with this. I had this thing on and I could feel the cold start to radiate through the skin and hit the, I, probably the nerves, and I could feel the tingling in my legs and the tingling in my spine as it was uh, making the nerve area and the muscles colder and cooler, and I felt really good. I feel the pain was going away. It, it just felt good. And right now, it's not even on me, and I'm still feeling that tingling. So uh, as far as this is concerned, this is really what you want because you get the cold, but it's not excessive cold that's going to damage your skin. It's cold that's going to radiate through the skin and get to the muscles and the nerves and do the healing that this is meant to do. So I really like that. Um, let's see, I'm, pr I'm touching my neck right now. My neck, my neck's usually really tight. My neck and left shoulder are really tight. And I'm doing some roll, I'm using the roller to help break that up, the foam roller. But just as I touch this right now, the skin on the neck, I, I only kept it on for about five minutes. It's not cold. It's not really cold now, but I think it did what it needed to do. I was feeling really good. After I had this on for about 15 minutes, I was able to put this on my neck without a towel, and I could have fallen asleep there, which is not a good thing because, you, again, you could cause damage to your skin. But it felt really good on the neck, just staying there for a, a long time. <clears throat> again, as far as the back, um, let me put my hand back there. The left hip is still really cold after about 20 minutes. So that is what you want. You want the slow radiation of cold so that you're able to lie down on this thing for a long amount of time. They say about 20 minutes. Most of the ice packs that I have that you saw in my freezer before, I cannot get on them for more than a couple minutes. They are so cold and so uncomfortable, and they freeze the skin, but they do not feel like they're radiating inside the body cooling things down. So I have to say I am extremely happy that I bought this. Um, I'm going to use this again. I'm going to, it's still, this side is, whoa, that's cold. That is cold. Ooh, that's, that's really cold. That is not as cold. One side is definitely not as cold. Um, I don't know why not. That's, this is ice cold. Ow, 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 ow. So it would be nice if I could get them to send me one that has cold on both sides. This is freezing cold, and this is not freezing cold. And that might have something to do with uh, the bags that are inside there. I don't know. It's really hard to say. But I'm not sure if I'm going to send it back and have them send me. I might, I might do that. I might do that. Yeah, because this is really cold, and this is not as cold. Um... This is a good product. This is a real good product, and I totally recommend it. Um, it's still cold, but that is freezing. So I will probably do a, uh, an exchange and get, uh, get one that's got both sides that are freezing cold. This has been probably 40 minutes now, and this is really, really cold. 40 minutes, and this is definitely not as cold. 
Um, but still, an amazing product, and yeah, I totally recommend this thing. I love it. Can't wait to use it again. If you like my videos, do a thumbs up, a subscribe, or a like if you want me to review a product. If you can uh, let me know what it is, if I can get a hold of it, I will definitely do a review. And if you want to donate to my uh, channel, ask for my PayPal info. Thanks for watching, everybody.